When you're in the process of importing survey data, there are many times where you're working with the surface and there's extraneous or extra points that the survey crew obtain, but they're way off to the side. They're not exactly on the site. Maybe they might be control points or maybe they might be some external boundary points that you don't necessarily need. Well, sometimes when you're dealing with that kind of information, it can be great to be able to generate a boundary for the topography that you're going to be dealing with, as opposed to dealing with a point way out in the middle of nowhere that's being triangulated with tin lines that you don't necessarily need. I'll show you an example of this. Right now I'm in the 03 surface 1B final drawing, which is located in your tutorials folder. If you zoom in, you'll see that there's a lot of triangulation going on with these white lines. These are our tin lines, if you remember from the previous video. However, I have some areas that are triangulating that don't necessarily need to be triangulated. Look at this. We've got this long tin line going from this point here all the way over to the other side. Maybe this could be a pond or something like that. Um, we have a similar situation going on over here where we've got a tin line that's triangulating from here all the way over to here. And there's a lot of extra triangulation that you don't necessarily need. So the way that we get around this is we go up into our home tab first of all, then go into your layer control, scroll all the way up to the top, and then we have this layer, this blue layer called underscore eg dash boundary. We'll go ahead and thaw that layer and we're going to be using this layer as an outer boundary for our topo. You'll see that this blue line doesn't necessarily follow what's being triangulated way out in space over here. So that's what we want. We want to be able to cut out all of this information, all of this triangulation, mainly over here and over here. Okay. So what we do is we go ahead and go into our surfaces. We go into our EG then into definition, select boundaries, right click, then select add. We'll give it a name, we'll call it outer. The type, as you guessed it, it's going to be outer. We've got some other options here, but for right now, just to keep things simple, we're going to stay with outer. We're going to keep everything else at its defaults. And then we're going to click OK. And then we're going to select that blue line. And you see how all of that information, all of that triangulation, all of that additional triangulation goes away. So if you're dealing with imported points that are showing imported points maybe way out in space somewhere, an outer boundary could be the answer to what you're looking to do with triangulation, with cleaning up your topo. Lastly, I'm going to select my tin surface. And I'm going to switch this so it's a little bit less cluttered. I'm going to switch this over to 5 and 25 background. And it looks a, a lot cleaner. Look at that. Beautiful. And that's how you go about adding a boundary to your tin surface.